Yo, morning everyone. This is the DK64 Randomizer Qualifier Tournament Round 9. Today we got Riley and Kuiper racing, and on comms with me is the Pokemon Master himself, Etiquette. Hello everyone. Or I should say morning. Sorry, I'm still new to this. <laughs> You'll get used to it, I promise. Um, so pretty typical start here. Um, pretty barren um moves to start with here. This is one of the most barren moves that's ever seen. You start with Super Simian Slam, start with Homing Ammo, and start with an instrument upgrade. That's that's not helpful for the start. Not at all. Uh the, the Super Simian Slam is gonna help once they get to like level five, uh, or if they have chunky on K rule. But um the homing ammo doesn't help if you don't have any guns, so all right, so Riley's screen, it looks like we're getting a first couple hints. Uh, see, Diddy Ballroom is Way of the Horde. That's the tunnels. Or to get in, level two. Okay. Hold Banana's Galleon. Shape shops for key five. All right, all hints are done there. Meanwhile, Kyber hasn't checked in hints yet. He opted to do the training area first, which is again, it doesn't the order of the beginning doesn't really matter, but he has a key right away. Interesting. So that's not key five. Uh, that could be. Could be the other one. I, th I think more than likely that's key two, right? It's not not be, saying yeah. it is for sure, but yeah. Most likely. Also, we do see a pearl for both uh, both players, so if we have to do a mermaid like we have lately. Ooh, our first K rule hint. Lighthouse Chunky. Big Lewis key eight. First right. color bananas for Diddy. Giant mushrooms key eight and Japes Lowland is path to tiny. Yeah, so we know all three of the K rule uh, participants before the first level, which is I would say that uncommon. I'd say that's pretty, yeah, very uncommon there, but very nice. Yeah, like you, you already kind of have a nice plan up from early, and like if they get a hint for um, whoever you need to fight for um, for Helm early, that's going to really help with your early game routing. I will say for efficient movement, tiny plus chunky is not the start you want. <laughs> nope, but we do have a oh, I'm, there's a very inconvenient Kong to get right there. The yeah. lobster man himself being sold by Funky Kong. Oh, oh and we there's see an a item. chunky potion in the battle crown. And I think that was hinted somewhere. Not a very useful hint for that one, because obviously that's one you would obviously check pretty quickly and easily, but. It is Hunky Chunky, which uh, has been known to cause problems. <laughs> yeah, especially no. in that one seed that everyone wants to forget about two qualifiers <laughs> ago. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I think I saw the price for Lanky was six coins, so. Yeah, they're going to have to come back for that one. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think they're going to have the coin amounts necessary if I'm thinking about this correctly. I think you're right. Yeah, I think that's correct. Like they don't they don't have access to many of the areas like Tiny only has three coins. Chunky, I don't even think has, or Chunky has three coins at the beginning, but I think that's it. 
Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah. Clear Pulsion in the Lanky Cage in uh, Hillside, and I believe... Actually, there was nothing hinted for Hillside, I think. No. It was Jape's little lands that was hinted for Tiny, so yeah, nothing for Hillside. At least not yet. Yeah, but clear vials are always good to find early. Um, your training moves, uh, diving barrels, and vine swinging are going to be available to you in the first three levels, so... We got a trombone tremor in the cave to the left going up to the hive. Now, that lanky cage is going to be a little bit hard to access. Oh, there's a Diddy sighting and a key sighting. Wow. Type of popping off. Still no coins, but can at least see what they cost. Six for Diddy, it looks like. Or no, six for the key, and then Diddy is bought by Lanky. Okay. Diaper with a look of defeat as C knows that he doesn't have the coins to do it. <laughs> yeah, with level two being Castle, I mean, Castle does have a fair amount of coins spread throughout, but kind of hoping for some early rainbow coins, most likely. Yeah, I guess the big problem with cat like you know you're gonna get coins in castle, like they're all easily accessible, but like they're all really spread out, like you said, so it's gonna be tough. Um Riley oh I almost think Riley's just gonna leave. He knows he doesn't have the coins necessary to do so, so he is just going straight to level two. And I'm sure Kuiper is going to be following him there shortly. I think this is actually Kuiper's first time into the lobby, yes. Yeah, so he's actually getting his hints here, too. I think Kuiper has a slight golden banana lead on Riley, but of course, Riley did a little bit more of these checks early. So it's still about an even race. Yeah, I think the, the big information that Kuiper has that Riley doesn't is I don't think Riley went into the inner aisles to the training grounds uh, where we saw the the key there as well. So. Yeah, I'm curious to see which one ends up actually being key too, because I think there is a decent amount of hint implement implications depending on uh, which key is where. Of course, we don't know said hint implement implications yet, but something to keep in mind. All right, so hint-wise, the only thing we know about Castle so far is uh, Castle Diddy Ballroom is Way of the Horde, but we don't have Diddy, we don't have Rockets, so we can't do that yet. Yeah, we're quite a ways away from being able to do that, so definitely going to be... Oh, Riley, I can't believe you <laughs> wow. did that. I would never do that, for comparison. <laughs> As someone who's played this game for 10 plus years, now I would never do that. I would do that and I would fall and my camera would flip back and forth over and over again. It'd be a good time. Oh, we got oh. Featherball inside the, the splat in the tunnels there. All right, so that one is a required, well, logically required move because we know Tiny is on K rule. We'll probably be saying things are logically required quite a bit. These two racers are very skilled and very capable of doing many things out of logic. Good diving. Ooh, diving sighting also on an underground splat. Probably not even going to be checking the shops here. Very interesting choice, but I think he has a plan in mind to focus on getting Lanky and the key and coming back later. That seems like what Riley's planning on doing. Yeah, especially, you know, even if you look at the shops 
What's Ooh, the likelihood nice rainbow of... coin pull. Absolutely. Like, what's the likelihood that you're going to choose to buy something there instead of the Kongs or the keys that you saw in the other shops? Yeah. So, yeah, Riley, we're going to see go straight back here. Buy Lanky, buy Diddy, I think was the other one, yep. and then buy a key. So, yeah, this was easy choice. Actually, yeah, that rainbow coin was huge because uh, Lanky buys Diddy. So you have five coins already, plus there's three in the stormy tunnel if you need them. All right, Lanky Kong is now in Riley's possession here, and Kuiper is, you know, is probably going to be grabbing diving and probably going to be checking the shops because that's what Kuiper usually does. Yeah. I think Riley right. missed. I think he made a mistake. Oh no, he didn't. He did end up entering with the right Kong. Because yeah. you can do a tag anywhere pretty late into that cutscene. Oh, Kyber finds another rainbow coin. That's good for him. That's huge. Money problems? What money problems? They don't exist. He's going to get that other key now. We're about to find out what that is. Yeah, I think based Are on you? the hints, uh, Jape shops for key five, so that's going to be what this one is for Riley. There it is. Now, I'm pretty certain this is going to be key two. Kuiper is going to be. Oh, it's a nine bang. Ooh. The nine banger. It's key two. Ooh, this could be. Oh, actually, Riley's, I was going to say this could put Riley in a weird position, but Riley's going to be checking hints here. Yeah. So we're going to see a lot more. We have key five opens lobby six and seven. We're going to be seeing a couple more hints. Yeah, and on Kuiper's By stream, we're going to be lobbies three and four because we have diving, so. Castle Lanky, Castle Lanky. Two castle lanky hints right there. Just really quick. Two quick ones. Key two. Oh, so there's the information. And Kuiper picking up coconut gun. Or shops key eight. Diddy can be bought in Japes. And Lanky can be bought in Japes. Okay. 23 to get into level four Galleon. That's pretty expensive. All right, Blast. Oh, I missed that. What was is it? <laughs> it was Diddy Donkey Tiny. and scoff yep oh big hint on Kuiper screen oh hideout helm key eight. Oh no hideout helm for eight that oh that is dangerous <laughs> oh no right i'm betting Kyber is having a good laugh. Riley's probably be seeing that soon once he purchases key two here. Yep. My goodness, that was quite a lot of things to go. That's a lot to take in in a short amount of time, especially for two streams. 
and Riley finding out it's a nine banger. Oh, he's no. going to have to take the unfortunate dip out and get yeah, back to you later. If if he does remember that, or no, he didn't. He doesn't no, have. He never mark. got it. Yeah, I was gonna say he doesn't have feather marks because he could get that feather cage, but. That is very unfortunate. So Kuiper was a little bit behind. He's now going to gain time on Riley because of that. Riley knows he can go to the um, dungeon tunnel um, to get those coins, and he'll probably end up getting the feather bowl along the way. Mm -hmm. Well, I would hope Riley knows those chunky coins are there. There's a chance he doesn't, which would be very odd. <laughs> Yeah. So looking ahead toward endgame stuff, uh, something that's interesting is we actually have all 5k rule hints now. Um, so we knew it was Diddy, Tiny, and Chunky. Uh, three of those hints are for Tiny moves. Uh, and the one Tiny move we've gotten, which is Featherbow, uh, is not any of those hints. So we have three things pointing toward Mini Monkey. Really checking to see if it's a sheep one. It is. So he gets a golden banana off of it. So in essence, Riley really didn't lose that much time because he did gain a golden banana off it. Although it looks like he's going to be doing the rest of this place now. So um he does not have the ability to check the lanky dungeon one oh, i'm sorry he does have the ability to open the door but he can't actually do it and you can't peek it without sniper scope or ponytail twirl So now we can see Kuiper's back in Japes collecting bananas because he did get hinted that um, Japes colored bananas, I think, was path to something. I think so. I missed a couple of the hints because we <laughs> had a lot of them all at once. Yeah, that was a very quick flurry of hints. One of them that is possible that I'm not sure if Riley uh, got the hint or not. I don't remember which screen we saw it on was uh, Castle Lanky Metal is way of the horde. So um, Lanky's Metal is one of the easier ones. So I have a feeling he, that he did see it because he's collecting Lanky bananas now. OK. It was Riley that got it. OK. Yeah, I can imagine. Oh, no, I was going to say Riley is probably still going to. I think Riley might check the dungeon here. Maybe I grab some homing ammo, which is very nice to have for future applications, because um, there is a change with DK6 randomizer for those who don't know that we made the ability so you can swap between homing ammo and regular ammo on the fly. Uh, that's a change from vanilla DK64 was where you have to use all of your homing ammo before you can switch back to homing ammo. Or you have to use all of your homing ammo before you can switch back to normal ammo. But with this change, you can manage your homing ammo a lot easier. Yeah, and something that's really nice, even if you don't need the homing ammo now, there are some checks in the game. Uh, specifically, I'm thinking of like the lanky room at the top with the, the sniper tower. Um, the game kind of expects you to have sniper, but you can do it with homing, but there's no homing ammo in the room. So if you get in there, you need to make sure you have your homing ammo uh, ready. Don't do it, Riley. OK, <laughs> yeah. I was going to say you have a key to buy, buddy. You have exactly enough.
Hoping Riley didn't forget to check uh, the greenhouse. <laughs> oh, Riley! Riley, no! <laughs> Rip. Worked once. <laughs> he did land by the pad, so it's not going to be a huge time loss, but man, that was very sad to see. Oh, and now he remembered to do the greenhouse. I wonder if he was just planning to go all the way up, uh, collecting Tiny's bananas and then come back for it, but because he yeah. happened to land there. So Castle Lanky Metal is something, so he's going to get something right here. Pineapple Launcher. Interesting, okay. So now you have to remember, um, that was found on a path hint, and since that wasn't found, if that's not an item you need to necessarily, like, beat K. Rule, that's going to be used for some other application, so that's something the racers kind of have to keep in mind here whenever they find these Wath items that aren't used to beat the boss. And there's DK! Ooh, huge pickup. No hint for that yet. It's always nice to pull the family sub 30 minutes, you know? Yeah. I feel like when it's we're getting around the 45 minute mark and you still don't have the whole family at that point, it's just the seed starts to become a slog because you can't get a lot of things. You're missing out on huge parts of the game until you get that the final members of your Kong family. Riley is the first person to have the completed family. Meanwhile, Kuiper is back in the castle. He's ready, ready, ready and raring to go to uh, get some of the things that Riley just got. That looks really high. It is high. Whenever you're ready. Are there any sticks? No? You sure? Here we go. It's time to push your limits. Yeah, and I remember this uh like if you have, you have to remember now that you need to collect like there was hinted that colored castle colored bananas are collected i think so Ryan's gonna be making sure he collects everything that's on the path here just to make sure yeah and we also do have a trough and scoff his path uh it's a tiny phase hint so um, it's also another reason why he would be collecting bananas yeah yeah Yeah, Riley's just going to leave after that. I don't think he's going to bother quite yet with the hints. Buddy, Key 2 is in. Where are you going? No, go back. Where are you going? Key 2 is in the shop, and he's not going to the right spot. And he'll find out shortly. Unfortunately, with this game, it's very easy to maneuver around. So, like, ultimately, this won't lose him too much time, but it is some time loss. Unless there's some, he's doing something here that we don't know about. He could be getting that lanky potion that's oh. sitting up there. Yep. Oh, I just realized, um, Viper found the coconut gun. I'm not sure where that was. Uh, I think it's, I it's probably gonna be in Japes somewhere if, uh. No, so it was, uh, coconut gun was the. Kasplat in Galleon Lobby, uh, which Ooh. Riley hasn't been to yet, so. And Kuiper getting the realization of uh, DK on the battle arena. The nice face Kuiper made right there. Hell yeah. Just a blueprint. But 
All right, we'll still use this time to collect 40 bananas. Um, for those who aren't used to watching DH6 for randomizers, that's another change we made. Um, obviously, in the vanilla game, you need 75 bananas to get the banana medals reward. Um, in DK6 for randomizer, we changed that so you only need 40 bananas to do the check. Yeah, it uh, definitely definitely an improvement, and it sounds a whole lot easier because it's like almost half of the bananas. Uh, but you'd be surprised how many levels have Kongs that just can't get their medals without so many moves. Specifically, I can think of like Tiny's banana metal in Crystal Caves is awful. <laughs> Not really sure what Riley's doing here. I'm curious to see what it is, but he's doing a lot of coin collecting. Meanwhile, Kuiper is going to make the trek all the way up to the top because there is that uh check at the top that's free to get you do have to climb up obviously but something you have to do nevertheless yeah if you happen to have diddy's rocket barrel you can you can blast your way up to the top but sometimes you don't want to gamble on on that and you're just going to take the long trek up More money for Kuiper. Riley made a little bit of a mistake there. He fell down and now he has to go all the way back up. You normally need to have, well, it, the game tries to make it so you take vines over there, but DK6 for randomizer, the training moves are hinted in the, uh, or are spread throughout the game. So now they have to, they have to uh, grab vines from a check somewhere in order to use it. So, uh, vines or that portal he went to is still in logic if you drop down from above. So that was the only way he could go in at that point. Yeah, it's also worth mentioning the the three training moves. Well, there are four training moves. Uh, oranges is it's a potion. Can be basically anywhere. Or this could be huge. Remember, Riley Riley did not see the specific factory boss check. He did. Kuiper didn't. Or Kuiper did. So Kuiper knows it's the factory boss that has the thing that was hinted. This may not necessarily be anything. Huff Toss can be a pretty tricky boss, but we have shortened it in DK6 Randomizer to be only three phases long, so it's not too bad. Kuiper, in the meantime, is going to do some golden banana collecting. Kuiper definitely has the edge on golden bananas right now, but obviously that can change as the seed goes on, just depending on what moves people have and whatnot. I still consider it a pretty tight race at the moment. I don't think anyone is clearly in the lead. I think so. Kuiper going to break open both DK and Lanky's, or I guess more of them, probably for the bananas more than anything. Yeah. Remember, Lanky's had that clear potion, so definitely going to make his way over there and getting that one. Oh, a balloon balloon. Japes absolutely loaded this seat, at least so far. Oh, and it's oh. swinging. That's huge. Kuiper's not known for checking bosses randomly, so that could be. I mean, he might he'll big. probably get the hint at some point, right? Hopefully, yeah. Yes. So like at that point, he'll go. He might go back and check it. And there's the other training move orange throwing. <laughs> that's not the that's not the clear vial you want to see it, but I guess it's better than like third melon.
But yeah, what I was saying earlier, Vines, uh, Vines is the only training move that is always going to be required. Um, it is required to get into Helm. Technically, you can have seeds that don't use barrel throwing or diving, uh, but they are less common. Something I find interesting, Kuiper still hasn't made his way to... He has key 5, but hasn't made his way over to lobby 6 and 7 to get more hints. Yeah, very interesting. Um, I'm, I think Kuiper does have a little bit more knowledge than what Riley did when he had access, so that's probably why he's not going there quite yet. Right. Riley finally making that key two purchase. Fun fact, there is a hidden rainbow coin in the spot Kuiper's checking in DK64 vanilla. It's just not the, it's just not, uh, you can't see it. So we actually raised that dirt patch so you can see it a little easier in randomizer. So you can see it above the grass. Are they probably happy to see a rainbow coin there? He's gonna be heading to level four instead of level three, it looks like. I believe this is good at Galleon Vanilla, yep. Yep. And this is where the coconut gun was, so probably should be picking that up right here. I would hope so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if he somehow misses it. Factory boss, he finally sees that hint. All right, uh, just something I want to throw out there as well. I believe Forge Mushroom Exterior Path to Key 8 was hinted twice. Uh, if that's truly the case, then that means that there are two items for key eight mm -hmm. on the mushroom exterior. Yeah, if you ever get a hint text that says the exact same thing, uh, that's what that means. Oh, and Riley sees the hint. Hide on Helm Path, the key eight. I actually forgot to write that down on mine, so glad he read it. What, again. Was, the, what was the Japes Colored Bananas path to? The rewards? Uh, that was also key eight. Key eight, cool. And they've Wanna gotten sure balloon I... from that. Or uh, Kuiper got balloon from there, so. Very good play by Riley here, going straight for Funky here. I believe Funky was something. Let's look at checking my notes. Four oh, shops, not four Funky shops. specifically. Yeah. Lots of key eight paths this seed. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the ten hints are key eight. That's pretty crazy. Not a single key seven, by the way. Yep. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever seen that, to be honest. So you'd have to think that Key 7 is easily accessible somewhere. 
yeah, generally the way that the hints try to work is they will longer paths or more hints would equal a longer path generally. Uh, so if something has like maybe one hint or no hints, it's usually lightly locked. Kuiper getting that third melon. And we see a move for Riley on the funky check. It is Gorilla Gone. Gorilla Gone is one of the always required moves as well, uh, in addition to Vines and Monkey Port. Because it's required to get into Helm. So that's pretty huge. It's worth mentioning, Kuiper actually doesn't have Pineapple. Uh, Pineapple was on the Lanky Castle medal, so... Uh, he'll be getting it eventually, because he'll get that Wath hint, but for now, uh, is locked out of that shop. Um, From Kuiper's stream, he just got Rocket Barrel, and I believe that was a lanky colored banana That's... reward. That's a good one. Uh, Diddy is on K rule, so... And that yeah, is that... the hinted one. Definitely going to be necessary, of course. So that does effectively solve the forest colored banana rewards path that we were given earlier, because that was hinted to Diddy phase in K rule. Yeah. So that path is now it's effectively clear. There is a small chance it could be pointing to peanuts on colored banana rewards, but that's usually a pretty low chance. We'll see, though. They may come back here later if they Ooh. can't find. Ooh, and there's a thing on top of a uh, giant mushroom. Giant mushroom exterior is double hinted, by the way. So there's very yeah. good chance that's good. Hey, this could be peanuts for all we know. All right, shout outs to Siegel. We're going to be scrolling through the VOD to make sure we didn't miss anything for Key 7. Grape Shooter was in there. Interesting. I want to emphasize that's a double forest exterior path or mushroom exterior path. So the fact that Grape Shooter is in that, it makes it highly, highly likely it's needed for something. We did another exterior check by Kuiper. Let's see what we get. It's a GB. If it's a short timer, he's probably going to end up getting it. I think that's short enough where he's going to go. I think so. Riley making his way over to his third melon. Um, and then that... failing to get that balloon. Oh, no. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, Piper nailing the balloon shot immediately. That is correct. The exterior does not include the rooms at the top. Uh, those that are counts interior. as... Yeah, that counts as an interior check. All right, so we did get Baboon Blast from exterior as well. So that could be the two hinted moves. Those are both really good hinted moves. Like, ex Baboon Blast is very good because there's only a few things that could be. Um, Grape is a little bit more ambiguous because, of course, it opens the Rabbit Race area. But it's still a pretty good one to be hinted for, even if it's, you don't need to beat the K rule. Because you can usually have a pretty decent shot of finding the path there. 
Riley's just not going to bother. Meanwhile, Riley's unfortunately doing things in the wrong order here. He's going to c not collect the lanky Panaz and get Rocket Barrel. Um, he is probably going to end up climbing up the mushroom, getting the the uh, lanky Panaz layer, and then having a bad day. Yeah. All right, I think this is the last exterior check for Kuiper. All right, so Grape Shooter and Baboon Blast are definitely two different items that are going to be path to Key 8. Hyper is going to end up climbing the Smushroom anyway, it looks like. And it's very strong because you get to collect um, Chunky Bananas there. All right, both are doing the giant mushroom climb here. Something that trips people up when they're first doing this, that jump that Kuiper just did uh, does not require vines logically. So uh, all five Kongs can make it across. Yeah, a lot of really, like, ambiguous placements with, like, vines like that. Because, like, remember, when Nintendo made this game, they weren't considering you to access any of these areas without training moves. So, like, mm -hmm. they're just a, kind of, like, placed everywhere without, like, a second thought. Cyber is going back in a castle. He know he can do the Diddy Ballroom now. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. He also never got Lanky's medal, uh, which, like I said, I don't think he got that Woth hint yet. Um, that's in one of the lobbies he hasn't done yet. So um, he could stumble on that, but. Well, we'll see if he makes it down to the crypt area, which it looks like that's what he's going to be doing. We're going to see if Riley actually gets um, 40 bananas for Lobster Kong here because Lanky Kong has... I think he has 40 without grape accessible. So mm -hmm. in theory, I think he should have access, but will he get them? I'm not entirely sure. So that's going to be the question here. I imagine you do, if only because you have the hint that's the um, forest colored bananas for or metal rewards for. Yeah. Days. I think Riley would, but it's hard to say. And Riley's going to check this because of the hint. I haven't seen Kuiper do any of these because Kuiper is not a proponent of checking the bosses. <laughs> As you can see, he does not have vines, which may or may not bite him in the butt later. Yeah, this is one of those unfortunate things where you have a Troffenskopf hint, but then you also have like a specific boss, boss hinted for Way of the Horde. Um, and so it's going to be really easy to just be like, all right, well, that's what I'm that's what it's referring to. Uh, when it actually you need to do two bosses this seed or at least two bosses. Oh, boy. All right, we are going to get our Baboon bo bo Blast, a ballroom check here shortly, and we'll get to see what that is.
All right, we got... Oh, it's a key! This has to be key seven. Uh, because key four has Galleon five-door ship on the path, and we have not done that yet. <laughs> we have, yeah, we have not gone a lot to key there. Now, Riley's trying to do a, a kind of difficult auto logic trick here. You can actually kick slide up this orangutan only slope with Piney's kick slides, but the timing is pretty tight compared to some of the other spots. Yeah, this is probably the one I struggle with the most. I'd say the same can be said for Riley. <laughs> there he. Oh, no! He almost uh. had it. All right, key seven in the hands, or in the possession, I should say, of Kuiper. Oh man, Riley's gonna be so upset when he jumps down. Yeah. He's gonna jump down, grab those lanky bananas, and be like, oh. I think that's what he's gonna end up doing here. Uh, meanwhile, Kuiper is gonna try to open Castle Lobby, or Castle Tree, which is un then a very unfortunate one to do because it's the hardest one. Meanwhile, Riley looks like he is about to get enough bananas. Get Rock apparently be like, oh, well, time to go back up. Instantly turns around, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Now, this is a hard required sniper check down here that Kyber's in, but you can at least peek it, so you have that going for you. Looks like it'd be a golden banana. Yeah. Actually, to me, it looks like a very large mug with a bunch of text on it. That, I didn't know that item was in this game. I was going to say, that was like perfectly timed. He like panned <laughs> up and it just showed the mug instead. And Grape Shooter now in the possession of Riley. Ooh, we got lucky. That uh, cop was not paying attention. So there's the Castle Medi Castle Lanky Metal uh, hint for Kuiper. Oh, oh actually, feed it was hinted. Missed that. Okay. So that's so Riley did check that before. So that's why he did it. Oh, that makes yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And it's fifty-eight to get into caves. Holy moly! Uh, hideout helm is always sixty golden bananas to get in. So. Forest Funky Diddy is Diddy's also Woth, so now Kuiper knows he needs to find uh, Pineapple somewhere, which we know where Pineapple is. It's on one of the castle, it's on the Lanky Castle reward. Yep. And that uh, Funky Diddy in Forest was Gorilla Gone, so definitely something you need. All right, I have a feeling we're going to see two people going either Factory or Galleon right now. That's my prediction. 
Oh, I know we don't have. Never mind. Factory's level six. As yeah. like a, okay. And we're actually gonna see some people go back into japes. Both players actually, they're almost synced. Yeah. Kuipers is gonna be collecting bananas to do the boss. Which probably mean I was gonna be grabbing orange throwing. Maybe a little bit better use of Kuipers time, but there's no way to know. Nice use of the fairy by Riley is going to refill some of his ammo because I think he was a little low on a lot of things. So I guess thinking about, well, um, we have Kuiper doing some um, boss fighting here and Riley doing some uh, banana checks we've seen already. Um, mm -hmm. We need to consider what we're still missing for the final fight. So it is a Diddy, Chunky, Tiny K rule. We are still missing Mini Monkey for the fight. We are still missing Peanut Pop Guns for the fight. Uh, we are also missing Primate Punch for the fight, so we're missing three moves there. Um, we are also missing Monkey Port to access Helm, but that gets hinted once you get to Key 7. Mm -hmm. uh, we also need all three of the Kongs that need to Helms their instruments. So we're looking for guitar, we're looking for bongos, we're looking for saxophone. So we have seven more items to get, so we're still quite a fair bit away. Yeah. One of the ones that if if I were doing this, one of the ones that would scare me right now is the three hints for Tiny's missing move uh, for Mini Monkey, because you have Trofenskoff hinted, which has and you have Factory Boss is hinted as well. But you also have Caves Main hinted and Caves is after Factory, so you wouldn't have a move you wouldn't get a move on caves to do the factory boss. So you're going to be doing this whole long chain. It starts in Japes Lowlands where you haven't even gotten anything yet. Um, it could be this. It could be this. Triangle. It, it is this. Well, could be this. Yep. Now we have two instruments, but neither of them are for the three <laughs> Kongs that need to beat Helm. Exactly. Riley going back to Castle. Um, wonder what this play is going to be. Definitely curious here. Um, but he is going to go back here in if it's just for, well, he is going to do the rocket barrel thing, but since he also has Baboon Balloon, he's going to go check out the dungeon, which I think Piper neglected to check. I could be wrong. We may have missed that. I don't think Piper checked it, no. Hey, well, that's something he should have done when he was there the first time, unless he didn't have Baboon Balloon at the time. Uh, no, he just got it, so... Okay, yeah, that makes sense, then. Um, yeah. Riley is... I think he needs some gold bananas, so he's probably gonna go... Okay, Kyber is coming back, okay. Now I yeah. know where people are again. Um, and actually, that's a very good point from, uh, from chat. One instrument is locked in the helm, um... It definitely has to be an instrument because, well, or something some, like, for an cases. instrument, yeah. Um, Which has happened before. <laughs> that's absurd. I have I've not had a seed where I had to go into Helm to leave Helm to get back into Helm. <laughs> well, I have unfortunate news. I've had to do that re and on a recent seed. Oh man. Um, but yeah, the only moves missing for Key Eight are either monkey port to get into hideout helm uh or the three instruments so 
Uh, it also could be one of those niche cases where it's like you're missing peanuts to use in a mini game in Helm. Um, that is a kind of key hint that will happen every now and then that can definitely bite you. Uh, people will get things like ponytail twirls, path to key eight, and you check all the ponytail twirl things, and it's just nothing because you happen to have that one mini game. Yeah, very unfortunate, but it has to be included in logic just because, like, mm -hmm. you need to, you can't get key eight unless you have it. So exactly. Now, you need Baboon Balloon to get this item that Riley's doing, and it's going to be... They're like, this is this is a live check right here. This could have what you need. Uh, meanwhile, Kuiper is doing another check that definitely has something. And his Batty Barrel Bandit on that one, and we're going to see if this has something here shortly not a lot of um baboon balloon required things in the whole game so the chance mm -hmm. of this having some is decently likely but it doesn't and riley takes the salty fall he's going to have to go out and look somewhere else And we got barrel throw. Okay, that is interesting. But we'll see if that's um, we'll see what that's needed for in a bit, of course. But right now, I don't think we have any use for it that we and I can think of anyway. No, uh, because one of the one of the common things that barrels is used for is uh, lanky K rule, but lanky's not on K rule. Uh, we do still have a boss we have to fight, and four of the seven bosses use barrel throwing, so it could just be that. I think that's a that's a good um, assumption there, to be honest. Like, there's a like more than fifty percent chance at this point because we already know Galleon was already used, so it's oh, right, effectively yeah. four out of six. Something that would be interesting if the uh, boss. Oh, actually, here's oh, a. This is a good pickup. Orang sprint. Well, that's not the best move in the world, but it is something. Uh, meanwhile, I think Hyper. Okay, maybe not. I thought he was going to consider turning in blueprints to get into the next level, so I don't think that's going to be the case quite yet. Meanwhile, Riley's going to be getting key seven here. Yeah, right. Kuiper needs to um, go into the funky shop in fact, in a forest. That's what he's going to do here. Oh, he did go back for pineapple. OK, I missed that. Welcome to bonus stage. Well, in the meantime, getting key seven. Something I find right, interesting about this seed is how quickly we got the full family, uh, but how low the GB counts actually are. Yeah, that's not something you'd normally see. Like, normally if you get the Kongs early, like, you're flying with GBs right away. But this is a kind of a slow developing seeds despite having all the Kongs right away. Mm -hmm. um, definitely really interesting layout here. We're about an hour in, and Riley only has 20 G about 22 GBs. Kuiper has 19, so... 
Um, really, really low on my ball. Like, that's, like, with the more moves you get, like, that's gonna be picking up soon. Yeah. Especially, you have some slow levels early. Like, Japes is pretty fast, but then you've got Castle, which qu requires a lot of moves to do a lot of checks. Uh, Forest is a pretty big level. It's kind of slow, so... It's understandable. I think Piper is going to be checking Rabbit Race area at this point because that grape hint, like you, like I feel, probably he probably feels like, and I agree with him. You have to check back there. Yeah, absolutely. It's not foolish. You've got grape from a hinted area. You got sprint from a hinted move uh, because you got a rank sprint from a barrel throwing check. So. Definitely something that could be it. All right, let's see if Rabbit Race has something. And it's going to be very interesting because then this is one of the very few sprint required. Oh, and it's not. <laughs> All right, so Riley about to get barrel throwing here. Kuiper back into Japes. No, with really good timing, you can make this. Let's see if he does. Oh, he got it. Nice. Wow. I I don't think I've actually seen that successfully done. All right. It's very, very tight timing. I know what I should go practice. Yeah, getting to the end is nice because you can just hold up and you won't fall in. Mm-hmm. So as long as you have the initial distance, like, it's pretty safe, I would say. Alright, more golden bananas is always a good thing. Um, now to see what Riley does here. I think he's going to go back into Japes and kind of do the same thing that Kuiper just did. Because mm -hmm. he knows he has some of these checks he needs to do. And then we're going to get our first look at Galleon. Yeah, an hour or three in, and we've only seen the first three levels. That's kind of surprising. But high, um, high a gold mana count for a randomizer, anyway, for level four. Obviously, yeah. that's 30 for required in the vanilla game, but like for 24 to access it and randomizer seeds where it's supposed to be a lot lower, that's pretty high. Yeah. I had a seed the other day where, like, level 7 was something like 32 bananas. <laughs> that is quite the low amount. And then, of course, you have seeds where, like, level 6 and 7 are both in the 6th or 50s. It's like, what the heck? Yep. And especially, like, this one, level 7 is caves. We know we have to go there because we have a cave's main hint. And it's 58 to get in. Um... Speaking of, so the only things we know about Galleon, uh, from what I've written down, is Galleon Five Door Ship is passed to Key Four, uh, and we know that Colored Bananas uh, and Gall and Shipyard Outskirts are foolish. Um, I also believe Galleon Lighthouse Area is hinted path to oh. Chunky Fight. Yes, it is. Which almost certainly, well, you're only missing Primate Punch at this point, so that's got to be it. Yeah. And I think... Should be able to do most everything here, um, with the exception of the mermaid and the other punch locked thing. So, 
And of course, primate punch won't be on the primate punch lock thing. So yeah. <laughs> pretty small chance that you're going to be needing mini monkey here, but it's still possible. Um, Riley coming into Galleon a couple minutes behind Kuiper, but Riley does have a slight gold banana advantage. So I would, it, uh, for all things considered, I think still th things are still about even. Yeah. I think so. They shame all have be a, the same moves, same info. Yeah, shame up to be a very good race so far. Now, the thing Riley just did, and Kuiper did this earlier too, um, you can jump up here out of logic with Chunky specifically if you jump at like the very max height that the waves like move up and down on, so... And I don't think Kuiper did the cannon game, so we're going to be seeing this here. Yeah. Kuiper trying to get up onto this lighthouse platform without raising the water. Um, just makes it so he can get into, like, Lanky's five-door ship later. Um, without having to lower the water, but it looks like he's going to give in. Probably has one shot at this. Uh, did he miss? I think he missed. Big sad by Riley. He's going to have to do this again. And take it takes out the Gasplat with the <laughs> salty cannonball throw. <laughs> Riley, what are you doing? Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. I don't think he has the time to go back, get it. No. <laughs> Especially not with falling. Well, I usually like to ask our, our racers interview questions in the end. I don't think Riley's going to want to answer about this one. <laughs> Hopefully this just has something amazing on it and this was just a really good pull that that's what riley's hoping at this point um we still haven't seen anything from the lighthouse area at this point so oh my god how was that not it all right he's got two chances this has to be it right here right come on riley hey he got it it's Bandit. junk Oh, oh no. no. Um, so something worth mentioning for people who may not know how the regions and stuff work in the game. Uh, so we just saw Kuiper earlier do the blast course here in Galleon, uh, which the blast course is in the lighthouse area, but you oh, can receive no. the item from a different area. So uh, that the seal race and the item you get for completing the blast course are not going to be the item that you're looking for in Lighthouse. However, uh, actually, no, never mind. Galleon Outskirts is foolish, so. Oh, we got a potion for Lanky Kong here. Let's see what it is. All right. Meanwhile, Kyber is not having a great time on Womp's Fortress. Bongo Blast, we have an instrument for Helm. Huge. Unhinted, uh, lightly, I mean, it's lightly locked, so makes sense, but that was not one of the hints that we had. Oh, there's Primate Punch. Yeah, we figured that was going to be in there. Yeah. So that is Chunky K rule completely satisfied. Still missing mini and peanuts. Uh, both of them are hard required for K rule. I think the only K rule item that's not hard required is feather bow because you can use oranges for it. 
I was gonna say Riley going five door shit first would be a little questionable because if you know five door shit is hinted, you probably want to open all the door as many doors as you can at this point. So come over here to open Chunky's door is the ideal move, at least in my opinion. Yeah. It is nice, even though you don't have Diddy's instrument. Um, you can peek into Diddy's room from Lanky's room. Can you see Diddy's from Chunky's? I don't remember. You can see one um, of them from Chunky's. You, can, you can't see Diddy's, but you can't see Lanky's. That's what it is. Um, so yeah, having having Lanky's instrument's really good here. Even if the item happens to be in Diddy's room, uh, you'd be able to... You'd be able to at least know which room it is. I was good not even bothering with those enemies. Just going to go around them. <laughs> yeah. Good routing on Kuiper's part, um, going through Lighthouse area first and then going in here to do the punch checks. Uh, just knowing that punch was likely in there somewhere. All right, let's see if Riley fails Womp Fortress like Kuiper did. What was you on know, cannons? He, it was a banana metal. You know what, Etiquette? If people can do Carpetless's SM64, clearly Donkey Kong 64 four players can do Womp's Fortress, right? It must be. <laughs> I was joking about that yesterday. I was playing some Scarlet Violet, and I was trying to climb a mountain, and I was like, there are people doing Carpetless today, and I'm mashing B on the side of a mountain right now. <laughs> We have a potion in uh, in uh, the battle crown, which Kuiper is going to decline because it's likely that's not going to be anything we need. Um, it was a shared potion, so. Yeah, I think Sniper or the other Slam are the only things it could be that would be good. Yeah, so Kyber is just going to pass it up for now. Like, he knows where that is if he does need Super Duper at some point. So I don't think he's, like, terribly concerned in regards to, like, getting that check now. Mm -hmm. Hey, Riley's going to be getting this. I think this was something. Could be wrong. I missed it when Kuiper did it. Oh, it's a golden banana. Neat little trick here to um, skip the drunky chunky. <laughs> I, I need to just call that at this point. I used to just call it the seasickness, but Drunky Chunky sounds a lot better. <laughs> Kyber going straight over the star. I don't think I've ever seen that before. <laughs> I'm so bad at this star. At least we only have to do it once. If you play vanilla, yep, in DK64 randomizer, we changed it so you only need to do it once. It used to be you have to do it three times in vanilla, which is not very fun. No. There's a lot of nice improvements like that. Oh, the oh. nitty location has the potion. So what's interesting is five door ship is path to a key. So it could be that or it could just be a different room. Uh, either way, you kind of are now on red alert for guitar. So going back to the hints, I know Kyber skipped that clear um, vial or the clear potion, but here's the thing. Cave's main is hinted mm -hmm. as having something. There are two checks in Cave's main that require uh, slam to get. And because Cave's is level seven, that means it's super duper saving slam required. And that's going yep. to be for Ice Castle and the um, Lanky Beetle Race. 
Yep. So if the item is on there, they're going to need to find super duper. Um, I think Kuiper is making the play, is hedging that that's not going to be the case here. I think it's a good bet. And I think if you clear out the rest of main caves um, and you still need that slam, you at least have a contender for where it could be. Um, so I don't think it's the worst play. That said, you did get sprint from a barrel throwing check which uh, is Way of the Horde. So Beetle Race could be it. That is a little scary to think about. Nice, comfy move buying. Yeah, I know when I first started playing, I didn't buy nearly as many golden bananas as I do now, but they're just so easy to get. And there's so many coins in the game that you're almost never going to be, especially at this point in a seed, you're almost never going to be low on coins. Both players know that Diddy's five door, um, five door ship has something here, so they're just gonna make be making quick checks of the other ones. I'm kind of a little disappointed to see that it's not a potion in there. And I think we'll get a chance to see Lanky as well. Uh, the helm order is Diddy, Donkey, Tiny. So we've got bongos, uh, but we're missing guitar and sax still for both players. Oh, we have key four. There's the key. Now, five door ship was a direct hint for key four. Um, so that Diddy potion is not related to key four in any way. Still might be needed, but not for key four. So I think my status from last time doesn't really change here. Um, Riley is slightly behind on the screen, but he has more golden bananas. So not really any change from the last time when they first entered Galleon. Um, it, I guess it depends if Riley wants to check more things in here, but Actually, it looks like that's what he's going to do. Yeah, he's def definitely going to check DKs here. I think it'd be a mistake if he didn't. Mm -hmm. All right, so five more hints for Kuiper. Oasis is foolish. That is three foolish Aztec regions, but you don't have guitar anyways, so. That's cool. Caves cranky tiny. Oh, that just confirms there are two good moves in a very high GB required uh, caves. Forest metals for key seven. Yeah. And then Tiny Temple's foolish. There's like no reason to go into Aztec. Yeah, and Kuiper is thinking about just not going in, but like at the very least, you have the shop and the blueprints yeah. in there that are super quick. Yeah, so it's Aztec Tunnels, Five Door Temple, Totem and Oasis area, and Tiny Temple are all foolish. I liked Riley's idea because Riley's going to have enough gold mans to go into Factory here and just skip Aztec altogether.
I've heard so far has not found anything in Aztec or of value, so it's curious to see what he like. Going tiny temple is worthless here, right? Um, there is it's hinted dead, so why would you even go there? Um, I think Riley is trying his best to not go there. Yeah. I think the only thing you could do in Aztec that's not foolish is like Chunky's metal would technically be logical, but not foolish, but that's really it. All right, so we see a blueprint dump for Kuiper, uh, trying to get up to the 52 it takes to enter uh, factory. Riley yeah, just I, I had a feeling. I had a feeling Riley wasn't going to enter. So I think instead he's going to just do the same thing what Kuiper's doing and just try to get into uh, try to get into Farina Factory here because like you have to push for it at this point. I'll just see where we're looking. Let's just take a look here. So we yeah. still need guitar. We still need sax. So those are two moves needed for helm. We still need monkey port. That's needed to enter helm. That's good there. Um, then we still need peanut pop guns to fight K. Rule. So there is four moves still out there. Oh, I'm sorry. Then there's also um, mini monkey. So it's five moves that we're still missing at this point. Yeah. Um... But it's five moves we're still missing, but we do have a bunch of unresolved hints still. Uh, we still have Caves Igloo area and Hideout Helm, both for key eight. Um, barrel throwing is Way of the Horde, but we haven't really used it for anything yet. Um, factory boss defeated is Way of the Horde, so that could be the barrel throwing. Uh, and then Caves Cranky Tiny is also Way of the Horde. And then the three tiny K rule hints are not resolved either. Uh, we got Triangle from Japes Lowlands, but haven't really done anything with it yet. Trough and Scoff, and then Caves Main. So, lots of, uh, lots of things we're looking for, but still lots of places to go. Very interesting strategy by Kyber here. He is getting... I wonder if he's trying to push... Um, I wonder if he's trying to push Caves first. Not entirely sure yet. But you get the feeling at this point, Riley's just going to have to do a blueprint dump. Yeah. Okay, this is an easy gold man to get here. No, I think I think Ever was just um, getting additional gold bananas. Yeah, going right to factory. So I think based on what we see here, I do think Piper is now ahead. Yes. Um, he got through that gold banana collecting a little bit quicker than Riley did. Riley's gonna have to do a four, four, uh, four round blueprint dump here. So it's gonna be a bit longer for him to even get in. And really, it, it just brings it back like cut, Riley took three attempts to get that cannon game. So you wonder how much closer it'd be if he just got that first try. Yeah, that was that was a lot of time. And it was basically timing out almost every time. It wasn't just running out of the cannons. So, yep. Yep. 
That reminds and me just of based on the way, based on the way Kyber's moving here, he's not even bothering with any of the checks. He's just going straight for bananas to make sure he has enough for factory boss. Obviously, he's going to get some that are along the way like this, but like everything else, he's just going to ignore. Yeah. Quick banana uh, or balloon in here for Lanky. One of the most oddly placed balloons in the game, in my opinion. And kind of a hard one to get, but he got a first try. So, interesting little fact. Uh, probably not going to see either player climb production unless this right here happens to be something good. Um, but the tiny and lanky uh, items at the top of production are always spawned but do logically require the progressive slam upgrade so here you would require the blue slam in order to get them in a logical way uh they're always there so you can always just go up and get them but it actually does look like kuiper is going to climb production production does have a lot of colored bananas so i don't think this is the worst idea so we have a chat member hoping for vanilla mad jack but keep in mind that Logically, Vanilla Mad Jack does require Ponytail Twirl, um, so I think it's highly unlikely that Mad Jack shows up here, unfortunately. I think it's more likely that a barrel-throwing boss appears instead because of the path hint. Yeah. See a quick high five from our racers there. 179. That is a high boss door. They can be up to 200, is it? Yep. It's a matter of how quickly are these bananas going to be collected. Now, you're going to see both racers kind of in the same area here, but Kuiper does have that slight advantage here. He's plus two with gold bananas and probably is around like 70 to 90 um, regular bananas higher with the account at this point. And the chat members are <laughs> chanting for that magic requirement, so they have to look for... Um, what is potentially a ponytail twirl that would be casino. How viable is doing Mad Jack without the ponytail twirl? Um, it's doable with Chunky. Uh, with Tiny, it's it's pretty difficult. Like sure, I don't have a problem with it, but I've also there. been I've also done it without ponytail twirl with Tiny many times, so Yeah. Nice job on the movement there by Riley. We have a Chimpy Charge sighting. That is not the move you want to see in Kuiper's face. Uh, also says that. No need to buy any gold bananas at this point here. You just basically need a couple more and that's it. So. Yeah, and especially you don't know exactly where in caves the uh, caves main hint is talking about. So you're likely going to find GBs just looking for stuff anyways. The race to 179 colored bananas continues. And both players are in roughly the same spot here. It's going to be curious to see how much more behind um, Riley is going to be here on collecting. So it's going to be something to watch for. Oh, and Piper is now just moving. So I think you probably heard the ding for the boss requirement. And it's a pearl. It's 
Still no ding on Riley's stream. But Riley does have a bunch of Diddy Bananas right here, so I don't think he's too concerned. I'm also something to note, there is a check in this room that requires Baboon Balloon. Oh, yeah. All right, one more banana, and there's the doink. Riley made up a lot of ground there by not doing production room, so this is going to be kind of close. Probably within 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Riley's still missing two golden bananas over Kuiper, but like like we were saying, you know, you're still going to just find golden bananas as you're doing other checks, so the deficit's not not something that you can't overcome. And chat, again, being the sadistic chat that they are, praying that they need to fight bad hit detection <laughs> man now. I don't think we can get enough of bad hit detection man, or bad hit detection wheel for that matter. And there's our potion. It is a potion. Can't tell what color it is. I think it's purple. It is purple. So it is a barrel required boss, as we suspected. It's um, it's gonna be. This is Dogadon Two. This is not. This is not a boss that appears very often, just because it's a high requirement boss. Yeah. All right. So Riley is roughly twenty five seconds behind at this point, with an additional minus two GBs. I don't know what I think this is because it's it's there's too much left on the tiny path in for this to just be mini. I think saxophone is the most likely here. Just based on what's left. That is my guess. With caves main, I would think PTT, but you also need mini for that check, so that wouldn't make sense. It could just be mini. It could just be um, monkey port. <laughs> oh, yeah, that could make sense. In which case, that's a little bit boring, but it does make the end push a little bit more tricky. Well, because obviously you can get into Helm, but like you're still missing some moves. The boss goes down on Kuiper's stream. Riley following closely behind. And drum roll. His ponytail twirl. Oh no. It is. And. Okay. That's really not a good one now, because now you know you need Ponytail Twirl for something. We don't know yet. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, so Ponytail Twirl could just be Woth for the Helm minigame. And Vines that we got earlier from Trough and Scoff could be the Path to Tiny Phase. And if Vines is Path to Tiny Phase, it could be like... Vines, oh, Vines would have led to Triangle from the Japes Blast course. So it could be something Triangle locked. <laughs> or it could be Magjack on Cave's boss. Yes, that is something that could happen. We have a Sandy check happening on Riley's stream. Checking the hints really quickly.
All right, so this this uh, this seed could turn south very quickly here. Yeah. If um, if Diddy's Kasplat or any of the two ice castle checks have anything, so they are praying that's not the case here. So first main caves check is nothing. Oh, actually, sorry to burst the bubble, chat. Um, caves metal rewards are foolish, so it cannot be Mad Jack on Caves boss. Hyper does have an advantage if there is something in the Ice Castle because he knows where a clear vial is that Riley doesn't. Oh. 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 Oh, hmm. I don't know about that. I don't know about that one. So, Riley saw the Lanky Tower. Piper saw the sniper thing in, uh, in the tree. Both didn't have anything, and neither did the Diddy thing. So I don't think anything can have. Ooh. But there's Peanut. That's a very big pickup. That was completely unhinted. I mean, it's it's a shop, so you should find it, but... All right, here's another cave's main check for Kuiper. Here you go, Chad. Here's Mad Jack. It's the music. <laughs> All right, so that cyberscope was basically just luck. Um, time to find out if this has anything. It's monkey port, okay. It's monkey port, okay. Oh, I was mistaking caves. Uh, Cranky Tiny was hinted for peanut, so. A little surprised Riley's skipping some of these main area stuff in favor of this. Now, we know that Japes Lowland gave us just triangle. Yeah. So it's very possible this has something, but remember, we just got peanuts. So the possibility that that, pe that peanuts area in Japes, like that, the possibility of that having something is also decently high. So I guess I don't hate this, but like you don't have monkey pour, so I'm not entirely sure. I know Riley's thought process, but like you want to clear like the uncleared area first, I think. But yeah, I'm also not getting. I'm also not winning DK randomized tournaments. <laughs> Meanwhile, Kyber's going for the same check. It's just a banana. Just a banana. <laughs> Riley uh, does have sixty. Um. So, Riley is probably going to be getting Monkey Port. I would hope. Oh, there's a red check. Oh, my God. Wait, was that on? That's on Monkey Port. I, they're missing two red moves, and one of them is really good. Here's something that's legal. Oh, there's another move in there. If this is... Oh, okay, okay. Well, that solves the uh, if something's an ice castle problem. Okay, so I think, just before they get there, I think Monkey Port from Main Caves wasn't the path to the tiny move. I bet that igloo check leads to Mini Monkey on... Or that, uh, that igloo check for Slam leads to mini monkey uh on the ice castle or the uh the sprint race and then 
the move inside the igloo is guitar. And then Helm has saxophone. That's going to be my call. I think that's a good call. Um, really quick, back to the ice maze thing. Um, you can ponytail twirl over the ice maze as long as you don't clip through the wall. That is legal. All right, Riley is immediately heading toward this right here. Nope. Not that one. All right, come on, baby. Let's see the beetle race. Yo, Chad, press one if you want to see the beetle race, because I know I want to. Look at all these Beetle Race believers. Come on, baby. Give us some good. Come on. Aww, oh, dang. So this is the worst day ever. It's a very... Now, with a very good angle, you can baboon balloon to that pillar over there. Um, it's a lot easier to do on N64 because of the lag boosting you, but... And Riley made it! Nice! It's very sad to get up there and then immediately get hit off by the Kasplat, though, so... All right, Riley's immediate, immediately seeing two moves. Piper is doing the, I'm going to sit here and think about my paths here for a second. Not sure where he's going to go yet. I think he's going to go into hell. No. He's going back into caves, actually. Huh. Hmm. I mean, there is another triangle locked thing there, so I think this makes sense. Yeah, I think triangle is what I would definitely push for. I'm pretty sure that's what Riley's gonna do next year. Riley's not gonna buy that that potion in Funkies because it's a shared potion, which means that it has to be a shared move, which of course Riley doesn't need anymore. He already has super duper simian slam and he already has both homing ammo and um sniper. Yeah. So he's not worried about that here. I'm presuming he's going to be going to the triangle lock thing. Maybe not. I mean, you now, could go back I'm to Japes and clear out Lowlands. Yeah, I was going to say, let's go back to Japes, clear out Lowlands, because now, now that you have Peanut. But it looks like Riley's just going to make a play for where the guitar check is. Which is fine, because Diddy's the first one. Yeah, the other thing is you can check the other two. You can basically check all the rooms to see which one has saxophone in it. Yes. Alright, this is going to be a very interesting helm here. I'm very excited to see. DK has a banana medal. Yep. Tiny is room three, so it could be literally any of the rooms. Could also Other be this room. crown. And the crown is <laughs> vanilla. <laughs> Now, you can jump off here to the Diddy Room, I believe, but it's not going to go that way. Nothing there. That's Lanky's room. Check Chunky. There it is. Okay. Oh, it's purple. It's got to be Sax. There's Mini it's Monkey! Mini. What? Oh, Riley didn't check the guitar spot. There's I no mean, way that's Mini Monkey. <laughs> I think Riley's confident that the Mini Monkey is needed for caves for guitar. I think that's what he's thinking right now. Yeah, that's what he's going to be doing. 
and then you play through Helm and get the actual Sax hint. I think that's what you have to do. Oh, Sax is the th is the third one though. That's a yeah. lot of time investment for that. It does guarantee you'll have a decent finish though, at least. Kuiper's Meanwhile, losing Kuiper's <laughs> losing his mind on his stream. No idea what he's saying. Uh, we're going to know for sure once Kuiper checks the pad. Yes. Crystal Caves and Okay, yeah, that does confirm where Guitar is. Kuiper is like, huh? And he's now going back to caves. The problem now is where the heck is um saxophone? Yeah. And it's it's got to be in that... So James Lowland clears that helm location. So that gets you Mini Monkey, which gets you Diddy's guitar. Okay. All right, and then this, so all of the, at least the K rule path hints now are done. Uh, it was Troffenskopf for vines, Lowlands plus vines for triangle, triangle to get into that room in helm and monkey port just to get into helm. Um, and then key eight, I think, unless I'm missing something, I think everything is satisfied for key eight. Um, so I, I think, I think playing for the sax hint is probably the right play. Um, uh, Riley, Riley has another idea. doesn't appear to agree. He's going back to Galleon for some reason. Oh, he knows there's something in, uh, Diddy's five door ship. Oh my God. That would be Man, this is I did not even remember this one. Well, good call by Riley. <laughs> now there are three um Shared upgrades left, I think, still in play. So, like, it's possible. Mm -hmm. Wait, no, no, no. There's only two left because the thing that Kuiper checked in Battle Crown and Galleon earlier, that's a shared move. Right, yeah. So, there's only two shared moves out there. The chance that this has something they need is moderately high, but we're still missing a decent chunk of other moves. We'll see what happens, though. Um, I don't think Riley actually checked the um, dirt patch, so that could bite him in the butt if it ends up being there. Yeah, it um, looks he like couldn't check it because he didn't have Mini Monkey. Welcome to bonus stage. All right, fifty seconds, salty Snoop. This is the easy one if you know the way, of course. Very nice. All right. It was Gorilla Grab. I was going to joke about it being Gorilla Grab, specifically Gorilla Grab, and I decided not to. OK, Riley is going to play for the sax hint at this point. Yeah. Which I don't blame him. With so much checks left and with all your hints basically done, this is I think this is the play to make and I agree with this. Um, with and just so Chad knows, even if you clear hideout helm up to the point where you can check the sax hint, you if you go out of helmet anytime, you have to do the whole thing over. So he'll get the sax hint, but then once he gets sax and comes back, he has to do the two rooms he already did over again. Mm hmm. If this was 1v1, then maybe you don't make this play. But since this is a big race, when your placement matters, this is the correct decision, even if it's the hard decision to make. Welcome to bonus stage. The only I thing I can think of that you might be able to piece together other hints. So I think it was Japes Metal Rewards was Balloon. 
which led to barrel throwing. Barrel throwing was needed for the boss that got ponytail twirl. No, ponytail twirl was needed for guitar. Never mind. So yeah, all the hints are are uh, accounted for. I was thinking that you hadn't used barrels on the key eight hint yet, but you did. That chanting for beaver bothers, but that's not in this season. Oh, it's the big boy stat snatch. It's big time investment. At least it's better than the uh, cop one. If you're Raleigh, though, you want to see some of the shorter ones. This yes. is not one that's going to help you with your with your gamble here. But I mean, this it is not. It's a safe gamble, but it's still a gamble to do this. Hyper making his way through Aztec now that he has guitar. Uh, everything back here is going to be logically behind guitar, so could make sense path hint wise. Um, but it really is only going to pay off if he gets it in the first, you know, maybe half of Aztec. Uh, check wise. He needs to get in like the next four or five minutes, I think. Yeah. Which could happen, but we'll see. <laughs> But very pretty good race overall, though. Riley and Kuiper were pretty dang close the entire time up until mm -hmm. the, the split decision here. Yeah, I think it was pretty much neck and neck until Kuiper basically just did a little bit more in caves um, after getting guitar. And then Riley immediately just went for the one item he saw. And then when that wasn't it, went straight to Helm. Man, another big one. Riley's not going to be happy to need, need to play these ones again, that's for sure. This is technically the Kaizo one, I think, because this is the one that doesn't appear in game. This is the one that's the unused one in the game files. I wonder if Kuiper is still thinking great block checks here. I'm surprised he didn't do five door temple. Actually, no, five door temple's dead. Yeah. Meanwhile, time is running out for Kuiper to find what he needs because Riley just needs. Oh, here's a short one. Oh, that that dude almost turned around and squished him right away. Now, here's where I thought Riley was going to check initially. This check right here. So there's three checks in here. One's a golden banana. You can't see the other ones unless you have Sniper. But Kyber's just going to go right in and check it. And it's not it. All right. Well, we're going to get the Sax hint right here. So unless it's something that's locked by... Actually... This is probably the best collection of moves that Riley has because pretty much all of those moves are skippable. Caves with chunky. Cave. Oh, it's the. Tr I bet it's going to be the triangle lock thing in Cabin's cabin. area. It has to be, I think, right? Because they did the. Um. Yeah, because it's not the transparent igloo. Uh, they did. They both did the punch gorilla gone check, and they both did the igloo. So yeah, it has to be cabins. And that's the one I said they should do because it's locked by triangle. Yep. And triangle's on this path, so. These paths got really intertwined here at the end, so I don't. I don't blame them for missing something like that, but. Yeah, I think I think Riley made definitely the correct decision there, especially if he wasn't 100% sure of what to do. Absolutely. Yeah, unfortunately for Kuiper, unless he is going to caves, like, like he, what he's doing right now is basically futile. And I don't think at this point he wants to take the L and check the hint, so...
<laughs> Kuiper doing a check I've never had to do yet. You know you can hit the switch first, Kuiper. Oh. You need to be chunky. Oh. oh. Oh, it's Kuiper's favorite game. It's the Kaiser one. <laughs> oh no. Let me know, chat. I was begging them to do this check before we knew this had this. Yeah, at the time it made sense. Well done. All right. Official go mode for Riley. Yeah, Riley should. I think it'll be your mid the mid two minute time frame here, just based on how he's playing. Maybe a little bit above that because we have some long mini games and some long long boss fights. Mm -hmm. And you know it's not a good time when someone's checking Owl Race on hint. Well, it's not really unhinted, but when someone's checking Owl Race this late in the seed, you know. Yeah. No finishers yet, but we're not going to say anything until one of the people getting restream finish. Because mm. it's likely, well, it's likely that one of these two are going to be the first finish. Well, it's likely that Riley's going to be the first finisher. Not impossible that there's someone else's, though. Um, do not spoil anything on the other streams, because we are just using these streams as a reference point. Kuiper seems to be having controller issues. Not sure. Yeah, Kuiper is doing every check that's locked by Grape Shooter, but he's got to be doing the triangle locked ones instead. Yeah, because you get both Grape and Blast from the same area. Um, yeah, he's, he's going into Crypt now and do the Grape Block checks in Crypt. I would say Kuiper is gambling, but he's gambling on the wrong move. It's not really a casino mode for him yet. I think if it gets to full casino, that's when he dips Helm. But at that point, it's, you know, it's a little too late. Uh, the area that had both moves was the uh, mushroom exterior in forest. Oh, <laughs> 
comes a bonus stage. All right. So Riley redoing the Kaizo diving barrel. One of the more time consuming ones, but. So Baboon Blast was in Mushroom Exterior. Yeah. It is not... It was, That spot it was in was, is not debatable. Yeah, it was... One of them was on the barrel above. I think Grape was on the barrel above that you needed rocket barrels to get to. And, and the other one was, the on, other the one was on the Tiny Kasplat, I think. Yeah. Neither of those are debatable. <laughs> those are outside. <laughs> The debatable ones, I think, where we were talking about are like the 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 rooms at the top. Those mm -hmm. are counted as inside because they're inside the mushroom. Looks like Kuiper's going to be doing... Oh, this is Donkeys. I think he meant to go to Diddy's five-door ship. Uh, and he's yeah. going to be unfortunately disappointed when he sees the move and it's Gorilla Grab, of all things. At least that first mini game is pretty short. Let's see what this one is. Also a pretty short one. All right, with all of the rooms complete, Riley is finally making his way into the key eight area. Yep. He will confirm who fights the final boss, and we got hints for all three, so like, there's nothing really to confirm here. Yeah, no surprises here. And even if there was a surprise, we have all the necessary moves for all of the Kongs at this point. Looks like Kuiper's buying the bullet. He's just going to check the hint. At the, Kuiper's mindset's probably like, you know what? No one's done yet. I just got to make this check because I'm getting nowhere. Yeah. It's not required, but I think most players are going to be triple dipping Helm, which is very unfortunate.
right, first phase done for Riley. Two more. Diddy's phase isn't too bad, but Tiny's phase is a pretty long one. Um, just with the amount of times you have to shoot the toes. And uh, just some so people who are watching are confused and they've never seen DK6 randomizer boss battle. Or I'm sorry, I guess the K rule battle. The phases are shortened, so no longer there is like a crazy four round tiny phase. Um, it's been reduced to two rounds, so you can hit two tolls in each phase. Um, all the other phases have been reduced too, so the chunky phase only required three primary punch instead of four. And then once we get to the final phase, Diddy phase, you only need to hit three lights down instead of four. So slightly shortened to make things go a little bit quicker and smoother. Yeah, especially bosses like this where it's the same thing over and over again. It's it's nice. It's the same deal with Puff Toss we had earlier, um, where it's just you're just boating through stars anyways. What is cutting yeah. out a couple of them? Yeah, and the only the only bosses we didn't shorten were the first Armadillo and the first uh, Dogodon bosses. Those are the same length. Yeah. So yeah. Um, even though there's only two rounds of inside the toes, all four toes have been damaged. So now we are moving on to the final round. Um, and also for clarification, any um, phase can end up being the last phase. So Chunky phase is not the final phase, as obviously you saw here. So it's going to be kind of a quick transition into the final cutscene here once he goes down. Any phase is always quite the difficult phase here. And um, shooting through the lights to the targets to get the targets here. Um, even though this is a mostly glitches rule set, this is allowed because it's way too easy not or way too easy to accidentally do. Um, even if you're trying for glitchless, so we just allow it. Yeah. And that is time 209.52, I think is the final time. Oh, Camerson sniped yeah. Riley. Dang. Great time. What a for great finish by Camerson after yesterday's disaster. Because he ended up being restreamed yes or not yesterday, two days ago. And he ended up in a super long casino that took him forever. Oh, Here no. though, he finished in first place, so that was really nice. 209.53 is Riley's second place, while Camerson's 206.55. I'm guessing Camerson found that uh, saxophone without checking the hint. That's probably what pushed him over the edge. That's going to be my guess. Um, and that that is one of those things like that you, you know, we were saying it's, you know, you're looking for triangle lock stuff. You're in caves. You may as well check it. Um. So it, it, it could have made sense. It wouldn't have been a completely random pull, but either way, huge congrats there. Uh, this this one feels like it's going to be a, a bit of a spread um, just with how you know deep you have to go. You have to go into Helm at least twice, potentially three times if you want the hints. 
So. All right, I've confirmed Riley does want to do the interview, so we will be with him shortly. Just a shout out to you, Med. You may want to mute his stream because when he comes in here, there's going to be a lot of voice feedback. Morning. And morning, morning. Riley. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> where to even begin with this one? This, this this was a very action packed seed, and um, I was I was screaming at both you and you and Kyber to go do five door cabins chunky check before you even went to the helm the first time. It was like I'm pretty sure it's going to be in there, and then you guys didn't go in. Um, what was your thoughts behind that? Like, tell me what you were thinking of when you like where what where was uh, going to be the last thing you needed. I mean, so for me, so I saw the red vial in igloo. And I immediately thought, okay, so like that's why PTT is needed. So you need that to get guitar there. So as soon as you get monkey port in in uh, caves, at that point you're like, okay, you just chase the chain, right? Like at that point, it, it felt more safe to just go into Helm, get whatever you needed out of Helm, which Triangle obviously locked the check there, so that made sense to just do that. And then after that, yeah, you get you know, obviously get mini monkey, and then it's like pretty clear, and then you get guitar, and at that point you basically have full, uh, fulfilled everything you needed. So going for the Saxon just made sense. Yeah, and, and that's what we were talking about. Like we were saying, like this is a big race. Like if you have everything, and even if Tiny's instrument is like the deepest part of Helm. Like, it still makes sense to just go for it, especially if no one's done yet. That just makes the most sense. I mean, yeah, it was just unhinted, though, so can't do anything about that. You could hypothetically say, oh, but Gogon is path was on path to key eight. Yeah, but I mean, you need Gogon to get it to Helm anyway, so. Yeah, and it was also, uh, like, Triangle was on that path to Mini, so that was also path to key eight, so. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm pretty positive Sax is completely unhinted if the hints just auto fulfill themselves. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't feel bad. It sucks that the Helm minigame was 20 hours long, but, you know, can't do anything about that. Yeah, we were saying that because we, uh, so Kuiper, you, both you and Kuiper, I think Kuiper got through Helm the first time first. Um, or you were, you were both like neck and neck. And you immediately went back into Helm to get the sax hint, and Kuiper spent some time doing extra checks. So the um, only thing I could see is that I technically did not have a. I don't know if my what my grape whether it was for. I was trying to think because we have a grape path to key eight, so I just don't know what it is for. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because we had like the the mushroom exterior path to key eight twice, and we got baboon blast and um, grape there. And I was trying to think like what grape could be way the hero for the seed to get the key eight. And it wasn't not... a helm mini game. No, it, it wasn't, wasn't a helm. Yeah, I'm tr like I'm I'm like trying to think right now even like because the factory you only had to do the boss. Barrels was locked behind Balloon and Trombone, which were both accessible, I think, because Balloon was on um, Jape's Metal. Uh, which Jape Metal? Was it Lanky Jape's Metal for Balloon? Yes, it mm. actually was. So okay. that could be what it was. Yes, I think that's probably what Grape is way the arrow for this seed then. <laughs> that's sucky, <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> Because, yeah, I mean, what else could it be, really? Like, that's what I'm trying to think. I don't think it can be anything else. So, like, I was not sure about that hint, so I was just... No, because you... <laughs> the force metal was Rocket Barrel, which locked Grape. <laughs> grape yeah. was for Jape's lanky metal, yeah, says yeah. Emerson. I mean, that yeah. one's... Because that one is super easy to get out of logic, right? So... Yeah, because it... According to to my little cheat sheet, uh, Lanky's metal you need to either grape alone or stand and peanut or stand and coconut. And stand is probably locked behind grape behind somehow. Grape somewhere. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm assuming so as well. Yeah. 
Yeah. And and then you just go into Aztec lobby and then you get every single Aztec area basically foolish except Lava yep. Temple. I think we had everything else hinted foolish, which was funny. Oh, and the shops, I guess. But yeah, that was an interesting one. Um, Kuiper ended up going in just basically to check the shop, and that was it. Yeah, I mean, and I, I I was more worried about just getting GBs, so I just prioritized GBs. You guys were pretty close basically the whole time. Like once you guys were in caves, you were it was like a 25 second difference. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then I also went to like, I guess the only other thing was um, getting grabbed before going to Helm. That was like the that was that felt OK or reasonable because I feel like it feels bad if it's the other way around. I mean, if you're trying to get the God mode, you probably I don't know what's the, the, the optimal play for that, though. I mean, I think I think checking that makes sense. Um, neither of us remembered that. We were like, why is he going to Galleon? Oh, wait. Yeah, because um, like if that was just it, then it makes sense. Like, I mean, the yeah, hints I mean, would point to it eventually because they're all on the same path. You save so much time if it is sex, but also like if it is not. I mean, like I said, I think they're both viable plays. It's just obviously you're committing a lot more to doing Helm first. But if you get the Helm hint, tech, like obviously like if Sax is there, it's the better route. But like on average, you probably lose a little less time to do that barrel first if it is not Sax. So mm -hmm. it's tough to say. So I have to ask going into Helm and seeing that purple vial, did you actually think it was mon a mini monkey or did you think it was saxophone? I felt pretty confident it was mini monkey because of the guitar, uh, the red vial in. Um, OK in the igloo so and then yeah and then because in my head at that point i still thought the ponytail was the path to tiny phase until it took me like forever to realize it's vines to get to the dk baboon blast barrel to get triangle to get mini monkey <laughs> yeah i think it took Go ahead. i think it took me a long it took me until I think you were dipping into Helm to realize that, too. I was like, wait, it doesn't have to be PTT. It could be Vines. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I kind of like I kind of just pieced it together as I went. But yeah, my I mean, my like my biggest thing that I was just upset about is failing that cannon game like twice, which I've, I've never failed before, <laughs> by the way. I don't know why I was so I was, I was I guess I was trying to go too quick and I just was pretty. How do you say it's like, yeah, you lost lot about it. <laughs> you lost like two or three minutes from that alone. <laughs> yeah, I lost way too much time to that. And then what else? Like, otherwise, everything else felt fine. I don't a, a thing I wanted to try, but I wasn't confident if it worked or not is can you get the lanky dungeon with like DK kicks? My brain says yes, but I'm not uh, sure. I don't think so. I'm trying. I've never. I think you might be able to on N64, but I don't think on here you can. Because obviously you can do it with PTT. So I was like, hmm. What if? But I just didn't chance it. So. Because we had trombone fairly early. I mean, we had five Kongs in 21 minutes, and then the, the seed going over two hours is still crazy. Because usually when you get a fast family, it just increases your efficiency by like a lot. Yeah. Yeah, we were we were commenting how it was like a fast family, but everyone or at least you and Kuiper felt like you were both a little bit low on GBs. Yeah, because um, around the hour mark. Yeah, I, ch I I was at the hour mark. I was I think I was in Castle and I was like, God, I only have 23. And then I, I rocketed to like 53 in like 15 minutes or so. <laughs> so that felt OK. I mean, I guess I I played pretty aggro for GBs. So. Because I felt like the right play Aztec was foolish. So and then factory obviously is just super easy to get GBs along the way. So that was like the plan to get factory into caves. So. Yeah, another thing that kind of slowed down the seat a bit was the amount of very important items to get in very early shops with no coins available. Oh, uh, that's so that's so me. I went like I, I was like, OK, I'll go grab key two. I have eight coins with chunky <laughs> nine. Oh, yeah. What are the God. chances? Dude, that was so bad yeah 
Yes, PTT is needed for guitar. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you needed you needed balloon to get barrel to get PTT to get guitar. L Rock with a third place CGL Rock. You could technically, yeah, no, you can technically dodge the PTT if uh, you just do the the cute skip. <laughs> but yeah. ah, that's so greedy. If somebody did that, like, yeah, exactly, L Rock. Yeah, that was that was what I was thinking. I was like. PTT is probably just needed for helm. This was right before you saw the guitar um, there. It's like, oh, PTT is probably just needed for helm. Yeah, because I mean, it might, I mean, it had to, because for me, it was path to tiny phase. Like, what could PTT lead to me for tiny phase? Because obviously, you just need mini monkey and feather, technically, right? Minimum for tiny. So, mm -hmm. and then key seven was nice. Because we got that before we even had the key seven hints. So. And yeah, like I said, the force double four six series was definitely the thing that tripped me up for a grave. Because I, I mean, it's one of those things that I didn't write down and then I just kind of forgot about it. And I was like, oh, yeah, what could grape be for? So I was honestly thinking that Sax was going to be behind grape at the end. But. Oh. Yeah, that was. That was what Kuiper was doing instead of checking or instead of going to Helm. Uh, yeah. He went around and did like Owl Tree, mm -hmm. did Lanky Mausoleum. Yeah. All those kinds of checks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. It is all rock. We pretty felt positive. Like, well, I, I only like discussed it at the end. So, yeah. And I was like, I think that's the one. And what, was there anything else? I'm trying to think. The oranges was annoying. Doing Jabe's boss first trip would have probably saved me a bit of time. I forget what was on Jabe's boss, though. <laughs> that was vines. vines. Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I would like to think most players, the seed would have had to visit Jabe's like four times. You have to at least go three, I think, right? Yeah. Because so. you need to go in at the start. And then you need to go back with Blast for sure. And well, you need to go in to get Lanky and you can't have enough coins in your first visit. So you go in, you see Lanky, you leave, you go to Castle uh, and then you have to come back to Japes. You get Lanky, you get Diddy, you get the key five. And then you have to leave and then have to come back for sure for at least well, the boss you could do in the other trip, but you have to come back for Blast for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So it's at least a guaranteed triple dip. And you're probably going even more just because of how high the GB count was for level four. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, because I did the Japes lobby as well, because we were, I was chasing barrels a little bit. And then at that point, it's like, okay, might as well just go in and do the chunky uh, X stuff. Yeah. So. Yeah. My only greedy skip was skipping DK Mills, I guess, in um with the Strong Kong barrel. <laughs> it was out of logic though, so I didn't really feel like wasting a lot of time. So. All right, Kuiper has one more phase left here. Meanwhile, we have seven people ha that have finished here. So quite a lot of people playing, like, even though, like, I thought this was a moderately straightforward seed up to the end. Mm -hmm. um, Sax is the only outlier, I think, the seed, to be honest. Yeah, and it's like you could just like there wasn't anything like actual unhinted because like you could just check Helm for the Sax hint. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it is hinted there for sure, but. I mean, again, the grape logic, if you're not familiar with that can be kind of tricky. Yeah, I gotta do what Etika does, get a cheat sheet with like stupid logic stuff. <laughs> no, it's, well, I just I just use my map tracker. It's fine. <laughs> I, I need it because I don't. There are some just really bizarre ones. 
Uh, yeah, my f- my favorite will always be chunky metal in in castle that you can yes. get without pineapple. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say because you can do it with if you have uh, baboon punch. blast and yeah, punch you need you need barrels. punch blast and barrels. Yeah, yeah. There's some nasty ones like uh, I'm mentioning during the cast, like Crystal Caves, Tiny Metal has just some really weird combinations that'll get you there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because tiny bananas are scattered all around. I mean, Mini Monkey is an easy big one that gets you a yeah. lot. All right. And it looks like Kuiper has finished uh, 2.26.24, according to the race time. GG's. All right, and we have a 10th person finishing here, so our top 10 is complete. Definitely won the long, this was, I think this was definitely the longest seed where nothing was completely unhinted, right? Well, start was just super slow for Golden Bananas, like, that's mostly the issue where you had to do like like the all the, the super extra back and forth and castle if like early castle was involved with back and forth this kind of this can kind of happen usually i that's why i don't really like seeing castle early because it usually adds extra time to a seed without really like seeing it because castle i think not just like this is just like my head i think that's just like i think castle is just like, like the slowest level in general to just like walk around and get stuff yeah we we made a comment too like even though like we have all the kongs early like the golden act collecting is slow going Mm-hmm. You know if Kuiper's joining or not? Oh, uh, I did message him. He didn't respond, so I don't think he's checking Discord. Oh, he's typing. Let's see. All right, Kuiper declines. So with that, let's call it a restream here and let's get some rating going on. All right. Who is the raid target? I have a suggestion, Dose, if you don't have anybody. But... Uh, yeah, you can uh, choose. Uh, Willard J. Bradley, who is streaming DK64 Rando. All right. Um, but yeah, so just a reminder, everyone, this is qualifier number nine out of 12. Uh, and yep. the next qualifier is this coming Friday uh, at 8 p.m. Eastern. So. Stay tuned for another one then. Three more to go. Riley, can you send me the str- the stream username? Yep. Sure, I can DM that to you. Thank you. All right, we are rating someone who is not doing um, DK64 uh Randall tournament but he is doing dk64 randomizer for i think this is one of the first times he's doing it first week for sure first week okay so let's go ahead and give him a raise show him some love and i hope you have oops i did the wrong things there we go <laughs> all 
All right. I hope y'all have a great rest of your week. I will be getting scores up for the Sunday weekly soon tonight. And then scores will listen will be up tomorrow sometime. So morning. Morning. Morning.